Hi friends, today we're going to make a beautiful flower for mum for Mother's Day. Now hopefully all the parts of our flower are things that you would have at home already. If you're fortunate, you will still have tissues, so you will need at least two tissues to be able to make our flower. You may have an elastic band that you can use, and we're gonna tie that around the bottom of the flower shortly. Um, if you don't have an elastic band, you can either wait for your examiner newspaper to arrive this week, or you can use a, some sort of a twist tie, whether it's from your freezer bags. This one is from my tea center tees. So find something like that. You might have a pipe cleaner that would do the job as well. Um, for my stem today, I have used a wooden bamboo skewer. Uh, you might be able to, if you have a pipe cleaner at home, you would be able to use a pipe cleaner to do that job so your pipe cleaner could wrap and act as your stem. And finally, I have saved my Woolies catalogue to use the green to be able to make our leaves. All right, friends, so here's how we're going to make our beautiful flower for mum. You're going to have two tissues. So the first one down here, straight out of the box, onto your work surface. Don't, they don't have to be perfect, just close enough is good enough. Now we are going to concertina fold. So one up, flip it over, over, down. Hopefully the kids can do it. Again, it does not need to be perfect. It will still work out in the end. Flip, flip, flip. All right. Now, once we've got it like this, we are going to fold it in half. Now here is where, if you're using an elastic band, you just wrap it about one centimeter up Twist and turn, just like that. If you're using this, I pull my elastic band off. You would tie around the middle here, and then you can wrap about a centimeter up around there as well. Okay, now I've made my Flower a bit wonky, but that's all right. Now the next thing we need to do is get a texture. I'm gonna use a combination of pink and purple. And you just color over the ends of the tissue. When we pull them apart later, that's what's going to be providing our color for us. Got some purple on here as well. Important that you do this before we start pulling the tissue apart. Whoop. As you can see, it's one that you get on your hands a little bit, but that's okay. I'm sure the textures you have at home would be um, water, washable. Right, that will do us for now. Now, then we need to start opening up our flower pull apart each layer of the flower. Sometimes it does rip. That's okay. Oh, there's some parts that I've missed. Just kind of pull it all apart. Fluff it out as you go. Now, if you wanted to make these flowers bigger, better, you can add more tissues. Obviously, the more layers of tissue you get, the fluffier it's going to be. All right, now if you spot like I've spotted, I've got a section over here, you can re scrunch it and just go through and do some more text a bit. Your child might like to do more as they go through. Then, with your skewer or your um, pipe cleaner, whatever you're going to use, you can just stick that on and goes up through the middle. And that's the flower pretty much completed. 
and you just fiddle with it to um, fluff it up. Now, if that was even, it would turn out more like this flower here. Um, but as you can see, every flower is unique and so are these flowers here and that's all right. To make our leaves, so I've just used this part of my Woolies brochure. Literally just gonna cut out a leaf shape. I'll go this corner. Leaf. You've got front cover and back cover. Generally big enough. So I'm gonna do matchy matchy. So you glue them together. Make sure you put the green sides together so that when you're gluing up later. Close enough. All right, bit of glue. Glue on there. Now don't forget, stick your flower in between wherever you want the leaf to be. And slide it up or down. And there you have a beautiful flower. You can add more leaves if you would like to. This is kind of base model. And if you don't want flowers, if you don't want leaves, you don't have to either. All right, so have fun. You can make as many flowers as you want. You can see that they look absolutely stunning in a bunch. Let's put them in a vase. Look at that. What better Mother's Day table decoration could you ask for? All right, have an amazing week. Have a great Mother's Day, mums. And we'll see you next time. Bye.